Hey, yo, what is going on, bro? Once again, bros, women, bronies, and Pegasus versus Doxy Kikumoto's. This is the one, the only course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Freak 2011 AK. Um, <clears throat> Mainly for bringing, of course, you guys are wrestling towards this channel. Go to check out freenow.com, and of course, show me Susan if any people are super support program. Best partnership ever, I don't give a shit. Links to the first down below, and on side. If any people are super support program, best part relation, mark strategy, mark scene, all the shit. Yada, 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 you already know what the fuck, or else I'm gonna say. Anyways, um, I'm extremely hyped as fuck to finally uh, react to this trailer thing. I heard about it yesterday, I think. Or actually, no, earlier this morning. I just finished doing the Pokemon Generations um, little mini anime um, series that they were doing. I think Generations is the last one they're going to do. But this isn't about Pokemon right now. The first one, obviously, it's not really super nostalgic. It only came out like two years ago. So this is um, two videos I'm going to react to. This one I'm going to be reacting to, obviously, which is... um. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale series, official te teaser trailer of the Game Awards 2016, which I didn't really see because I usually don't even watch video game wars. Last time I saw those was like either 2008 or 2009, a while back. It was either my like senior year of high school, or way back when I was like my freshman year when I was still in college and shit. Oh my god. <laughs> but the other one, the other fucking one, and a lot of you people already know what I'm about to react to. If this fucking thing will work. Alright, there we go. Is uh, the Crash Bandicoot series, Insanity, no, actually, no, Insane Trilogy, which is weird, the comeback trailer. So I guess this is like when the video game version was happening. I didn't see it. it says PSX 2016. So I'm super hyped as fuck to actually react to that shit because obviously when I was a 90s kid growing up, obviously, some of you know millennial guys that are like watching this, you probably don't remember because you probably either weren't born yet or maybe you were way too little to remember. I don't know. Um, that, that whole series was pretty much my whole life back in the day. Obviously, I was like, back when I was a 90s kid, unfortunately, I didn't really have too many friends. I was extremely introverted. The only friends I ever had was, like, my cousins growing up when I was still in New York and shit. And it sucked a lot of ass. It wasn't until I moved out here to Vegas when I started having a little bit more friends and stuff. And this was when I was still in middle school and high school at the time. And a little bit in college. Not too many like I did before. But, you know, I still got four IRL friends there in real life, luckily. So, uh, <laughs> man... I know me and my buddies are really real, real high because I was talking about it the other day when I was, um, even though I was um, talking on Facebook about it besides it in real life, it was fucking amazing. Man. <laughs> they were hyped as shit about it just as much as I was, so, <laughs> yeah, um, let's get to this Marvel one real quick before I start fanboying the shit out because obviously it was a very big part of my childhood back then when I, mean, I was about six, seven years old at the time and I was a fucking small little kid at the, at the time, but let's get into this one, Marvel's, um, Guardians of the Galaxy, hopefully maybe it's... Um, if this is the Telltale series of the trailer, hopefully it's really, really good. And they're the same dudes I made Batman, too, weren't they? Alright, here we go. Hopefully you guys can hear it. And it's only a teaser trail, so it's not really that much to go with. <laughs> it almost looks like a little Star Trek ship for some reason. That's weird. Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale series. Oh, they weren't going to show nothing else after that? Oh, man. Man, I wanted to see some little action things go up or whatever, but it is what it is. Um, I really can't say any overall thoughts, views, and opinions on that. Hopefully I don't get a copyright claim for that shit, but if I do, I possibly am not going to monetize the video. But other than that, links to this one in the description box down below, the on side. Many guys were 90s kids like I was growing up. <laughs> you know you're going to love the shit out of this one. And I know it was on IGM, but I'm going to watch on GameSpot and stuff. 3, 2, 1, let's get in. Wait, hold on. I don't know why it's so fucking low. I'm going to turn it up a little bit higher. Hopefully it's not too loud. The comeback. <laughs> oh man, please don't let it be crap. Hopefully it's as good. Oh, he looks exactly like he did back in the day, except he's more upgraded. Alright. Oh, yes! Oh, it's the exact same way that he did before. <laughs> Woo! Yes! Oh, they didn't make him like the Twin Sandy do one. Thank God. Is that one I didn't like that one of the Crash of Titans version that much? <laughs> oh, they did make like a remastered version of the whole thing. Oh my god. This is like all 1080p HD now. 
little seven, eight year old me is screaming right now. Holy shit, I fucking love this. <laughs> yes! Oh, and he had the Aqua Aqua Invisibility Mask. <laughs> oh, and they still got the original enemies from. Oh, this is part one, two, and three. And they had Quartz Strikes Back and then the Crash Bandicoot the War. Oh my god. My favorite marsupial. I know a certain person out there, he's gonna be super, super happy when he sees this shit, man. The aesthetics are beautiful. Oh my god. Oh, the rolling jungle thing. <laughs> Please tell me they have the same bosses as before, because I know they show Papa Papa. It means Pinstripe is gonna be coming back too. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh man, I'm fanboying the fuck out right now. Oh shit, man. I know I'm almost 28 fucking years old, but still. I'm super hyped as fuck to see this anyways, man. Holy fucking hell, man. Woo! Alright, so. I gotta take a breather. <sighs> Alright. Um, before I get to overall thoughts, views, and opinions, let's, let's just talk about how beautiful, created, well created, well crafted, and well mastered piece of a freaking musical remix and then they made with this. And I know there's some, some certain person out there. Um, shout out to two of them, actually. Which is um, Crystal Fissures. I know he's a really, really big fan of the Crash Bandicoot series, obviously, in Spyro. Even though he's younger than me. I think he's like 20 or 21 or something. So he's definitely young enough to be my bro younger brother. But him and then I know there was another dude. I know those Crash Bandy Spyro 7. And there's this one dude that used to make YouTube videos that he doesn't make him anymore. I think his name was Al Malloy. He was real, real big in the Crash Bandicoot. I'm trying to think of somebody else. I don't know if Proto Mario was big in the way or Cape Man time. I remember that dude was big in the way. Ah, uh, who else was it? Oh, there was another dude. I'm, I used to be something, but not anymore. His name was Digital Masterpiece. He's probably like fanboying the fuck out of this shit, too. Even though he was probably like 18, 19 or something. Still. <laughs> That's absolutely amazing. Even that other dude, he just got his like freaking golden YouTube platform thing. I just watched it this morning, too, since I'm off at work still until like Monday. It's usually Saturday or Sunday when I don't work, but <laughs> um, and or enlisted leave. I know he was actually a fan of Crash Bandicoot as well, and he's 21 as well. But still, holy crap, overall thoughts, views, and opinions. I'm really, really glad they brought the same aesthetics back as before. It's just in a whole more clear, like, 1080p HD, like, 4K style experience. I really hope to God the Sony PlayStation, um, what was it, um, PlayStation Plus, uh, or PlayStation Pro, there we go ends up like um living up to that 4k experience because you know um it already came out this year but still maybe next year they might do an upgrade for it who knows because i know the only two new consoles are going to be coming out soon besides nintendo switch is going to be um what's that fucking name called the xbox scorpio whatever i know that's going to be a big thing for a lot of you xbox fans out there but as far as everything else goes holy shit <laughs> man yes Oh, so much fucking wind right now. Oh my god, it's beautiful. I'm so glad that Activision actually decided to do that instead of them focusing on COD and Halo every single fucking second, but every year. But I'm glad they actually took the time and effort to actually put something this beautiful, this well created together, man. Those are people that are my age, in like their mid late 20s, even early mid 30s, I grew up with this shit. <laughs> They must have been jumping out of their seats when they saw this fucking thing. I'm surprised unless 21,000 views shut up a shit some more than that. Now all they have to do now is make a Spyro the Dragon remake and not that crappy ass one that they put in Skylanders. I'm talking about the original one. Thank God. Hopefully they do that eventually too. So um, Activision or any of you guys that are like the developers for um, the whole, um, uh, not Skyrim series, I was going to Skyrim, Skylander series. Many developers or devs are watching this video, which I highly doubt you are. You gotta get on that shit. Make the original version of the stuff. I know you were trying to appeal to the younger generation, the millennials and all that shit that didn't grow up with Spiral Crash. Maybe a few of them did, but they were too young to remember to play it or whatever, but maybe they weren't born yet, but still. <laughs> Man. I'm super hyped as fuck to get this shit. I am totally fucking biased since I already have the PS4 ready, but it's not the pro version, but whatever. Woo! They still put the Aqua Aqua Mask. I wonder if they're going to show Uka Uka and um, the third one, which he was first introduced to Crash Bandicoot Grand Ugo War. My three favorite all time freaking enemies were on there besides Pinstripe was um, the Komodo Brothers and Crash Bandicoot 2, Quartz of Charlie's Bass. I can't wait to see them in High Duff. I can't wait to see, um, what was his name? I think Dingo Dial, he was the second favorite. My third favorite out of all three of them was an Entropy. Or Entropy. 
which uh, my memory crash made it before in uh, Crash Team Racing. If they made a Crash Team Racing HD version of this, I would flip the fuck out even more. Oh shit, man. Get on that shit, Activision. If you made this possible, make that possible as well. Just um, feed my inner nostalgic feels for this fucking series, man. Seriously, man. Uh, I'm extremely overhyped right now for this shit. I'm, t I'm totally pre-ordering this shit at launch, man. I'm totally fucking getting this thing. And I can't wait to see all the little, like, attacks uh, and shit that he has, too. And that little bazooka, like, um, cannon that he had. The Wampa Fruit Cannon. And all the little extra special attacks and abilities that he gets. Like that spin dash thing. I don't know if they're going to make that a little glitch like they did in Part 2. Or they're going to completely fix that, which would suck. But it is what it is. And the Bear Down levels. The Bear Down, the Boulder levels. Those, the Bear Down one, I haven't seen it. But hopefully it's as good as that Boulder level was. And beautiful, crisp, and clean, like, high definition that way. And that's it. Links in the description box down below. Tish on the side. If any people want to see any of these two um, <clears throat> reaction review segments, then hopefully they actually put a little bit more content for the Guardians of the Galaxy thing because it wasn't really much for me to react to. But it is a teaser trail, so I really couldn't expect that much for it. That's why I don't do too many teaser trails on um, reactions on this channel very much. And the only one I did was that Transformers when I got 200 plus something views, so I was happy about that. Other than that, that's all I got to say, and uh, I'm out of here. Peace out once again, bros, women, bronies, and packages of toxic Geekamonos. I will see when I see you guys a good day, have a good night, wherever you are at around the world. Don't drink smoke at the same time. Don't drink reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it like right there. And until then, next time, guys, peace out. Later, bye. Stay tuned more videos coming soon. Brand new videos on channels every single day. Stay in the ground. Stay easy. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Be easy. Be you do it yourself. Peace out. My sauerkraut. I'm going to get it out of here. Stay tuned more for your guys' channel. Stay more updates. Stay safe, everyone. Of course, stay tuned more for your vlogs on this channel, such as Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, PC gaming news. And um, anime and otaku video game related news on that side of the room. And as always, <clears throat> Pokemon MLP stuff related on this side of the room. Uh, <clears throat> reaction review segments on this side of the room along with um, video game movies. Movie. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is kind of fucking up on me. I've killed the Marvel DC movies and of course um, video game trailers and movie trailers. And as always, um, anime and otaku teaser trailers on this side of the room. And of course, video responses and rants. Deuces, goodbye. Fucking Crash Bandicoot, thank you very much, Activision, for actually doing something. A lot more better than just besides COD, I'm just saying, because I'm not the biggest FPS fan, but it's still okay. Later. Peace.